beautiful people it's your boy if this is your first time of watching my video you're welcome to my channel and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back to my channel thank you for stopping by in today's video i'm going to be telling you about the story of late madam fumilaya ransom koti most of us or some of us might know her as the mother of the great afrobeat legend fella nicola Pukuti, but she was more than that in fact, one can say that Fela got his activism gene from his mom because she was a very strong and vital woman during her lifetime. She was the first woman to drive a car in Nigeria, talk about class, and she helped fight against gender inequality and colonialism. But before we get into our political and activism life, you know what, let's just take it back and just talk about her background she was born on the 25th of october 1900 to omoyeni and Yuwa thomas in abelkota ogun state which is the present abelkota is the present capital of ogun state and she was one of the first set of girls to enroll in abelkota grammar school and once she was done in abelkota grammar school she continued her education in England. After she finished, she came back to Nigeria and became a teacher in Abel Kota School. Then at the age of 25, she got married to Olu Dotson Ransom Kuti, who was a teacher. Then in 1932, he became the principal of the Abel Kota School. And not long after that, she organized the Abel Kota Ladies Club, which consisted of few Christian women. And as time went by, the organization shifted its attention to gender inequality and politics which made the organization to involve a large number of market women who were being exploited by the colonizers and even the local rulers because instead of protecting the interests of people the local rulers were placing tax on people and even imprisoned anyone who dared to criticize them this made the organization to start protesting on the special tax that were imposed on women and at this point the Abel Kota Ladies Club became Abel Kota Women's Union because it did not just consist of just few educated Christian women but all women who were mostly from Abel Kota and as time went on these women even protest and held demonstration against Salada for the second because he was placing enormous tax on the market women the unfair treatment of women and even price controls in as much as these were women were the ones selling they were still not getting as much profit as they should have been because these local rulers were exploiting them at that point it is recorded that madame funela ransom kuti led training session for these women so their demonstration and protest were very very much planned in the right way and it reminds me very much of the about women riots you should watch out okay for this channel because i'm going to be talking about the about women riot and if you are yet to subscribe please do subscribe okay like this video and comment in the comment section what you guys think about it there was a petition against the alaki for the special tax that were imposed on market women but this did not however do anything right but instead it increased the taxes that were to be paid by these women and because of their continuous demonstration and protest madame fumilayo ransom kuti was imprisoned in 1947 but this did not even slow down the abel kota women's union but it actually jerked their energy into a radical phase because their demonstration became non-stop and it was so tough and powerful that it led to Salada Po Ademola's abdication in 1979 to tell you how powerful and strong these women were they were able to take a ruler out of his position after Salada Po Ademola abdicated the throne the tax imposed on the women were also abolished after this the union progressed and were campaigning for educational rights health and even social services for women and girls also in 1949 the union became national and from abel kota ladies club to abel kota women's union in 1949 the union became nigerian women's union and then in 1953 it became the federation of nigerian women's society fighting for independence with political parties and speaking of political parties she became a pioneer member of the national council of nigeria and the cameroon ncnc and at this point in time she became the only woman to hold an executive position at that time she was honored with a doctorate degree 
the order of Nigeria and the Lenin Peace Prize to name a few. But unfortunately, in February 1978, some soldiers turned into Fela's house, which he called the Kalakota Republic at that time. And in the midst of the struggle, some soldiers dragged Madame Fumilaya and some Kuti and threw her out a two-story window. Unfortunately, she died as a result of the injury she sustained from that incident that same year. But our works and legacy live on and will forever remember her for that. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and let me know in the comment section what you guys think, okay? And watch out for the next video. It should be all the one after the next video. It should be on the Abba Women Riot of 1929. I love you and I'll see my next video. Bye!